What do you think about the Department of Energy requiring online sellers to show this energy label in their advertisements? This is known as the Philippine Energy Label Program and includes a lot of useful information for consumers. I recently bought this 50 watt LED bulb online and when it arrived I looked at the energy label and it had one star and I thought why? I know that incandescent bulbs are inefficient. I know that CFL bulbs are inefficient. How come this LED bulb only has a one star rating? Well, you might notice the big number there, 90. There's something missing from that. If we go back to our Philips box and take a look at their energy label, you can actually see what was missing. The important part is lumens per watt. So that number, 90, what it meant is for every one watt of power, we're getting 90 lumens of light, compared to this light bulb where every one watt of power gets us 200 lumens of light. So basically, this is twice as efficient compared to this light bulb. And to demonstrate this, I've got two LED bulbs. Both of them are five watts from well-respected international brands and we're going to compare them against each other with the help of a lux meter. We're going to ensure that the lux meter stays in the same place, the light stays in the same place, so it's a fair test. The first contender will be the Philips Ultra Efficient LED 5 Watt. This is pretty much the best you can get right now. The light is on now, it's hitting the sensor. We're going to hold it so that we can show the figure to the camera without it changing. And you can see that is the reading, 3000, 267 lux. So let's put it back into position and now we'll put in the other 5 watt LED bulb. The light is on, it's hitting the sensor and again I'm going to hold it so that I can show it to the camera. 1674. So both of them are 5 watt LED bulbs but the amount of light they output is very different and that's why this energy label is very important because we can see right here, this bulb from Philips is a five star, 200 lumens per watt. It helps consumers make the decision about which bulb they want to buy. The truth is, this is more expensive. You are going to pay more upfront for this ultra efficient bulb. But in the long run, you're going to save on power. It's going to put less heat into your home. Now, actually, this video is not about Philips. It's not about the new ultra-efficient LED bulbs. I want to make a separate video about that because it is very interesting what they've done here. This is specifically about the Philippine Energy Label Program and how they're pushing, the DOE are pushing for online sellers to include that in their ads. And actually, let's talk a bit more about this energy label because you might notice the QR code on the bottom. If you scan that with your phone, it will take you to the DOE website. It shows a picture, it shows the lumens per watt, it shows the energy efficient. It will even tell you how much it will cost to run. They also give you information about the CRI, about the power factor and various other things that a lot of people want to know, although not everybody cares about those more technical details. The only thing I would say is that I've been buying LED bulbs for many years, including the last few weeks. And um, most of them, whether I bought it online or in a hardware store, they didn't have the energy label. So there's still some way to go here. It's not just online, even physical stores. I hope they can really get these energy labels on all of the light bulbs. And it's not just light bulbs. They're also going to do it for things like fans, appliances, and all kinds of electrical items. I think it's a way forward. It really educates and informs the consumer. And I actually called the Department of Energy and asked them about these labels. And the first thing I wanted to say is, my goodness, they're so easy to talk to. Firstly, they answer the phone, which is already a step up above many other people. The next thing is, they answered all my questions. Now, to be fair, they were very basic questions and most of the information, if not all of the information, is also on their website but it's nice to be able to talk to someone and verify that what you read and the way that you understood it is correct. So I really appreciate that because sometimes with other people, they'll say, oh, you have to send us a letterhead and then put your request there. And I'm thinking, you're just a basic consumer asking a question and then you're making them put it on a letterhead and mail it to you. And then 
even if you do that a lot of the time they don't bother replying so department of energy thank you so much you're very quick to answer your phones you're very quick to give information the main thing i wanted to ask them was who actually comes out with the figures for these labels and essentially it comes down to you have to go through an accredited laboratory to get it tested so you can't just send the information to DOE and say oh it's 500 lumens per watt so that was just a quick video I actually want to make a more detailed video about these Philips ultra efficient LED bulbs they're kind of a hot topic around the world right now because they are literally up to 50% better than their old LED bulbs in terms of efficiency so I do want to do a dedicated video on those but I'm interested to hear from you what do you think about this Philippine energy labeling program and then DOE's efforts to really force sellers to give that information to the public whether it's online or in store let me know what you think thanks for watching